The term dress for success is taking on a powerful meaning thanks to one local organization. The group is using fashion to help young people deal with their dark past and create successful futures. NBC4's Lolita Lopez and photojournalist Bobby Ang show us how the program is changing lives in tonight's Life Connected. A fashion show that was more about the designers than the designs. And I felt intimidated because, one, I had no experience in ever making any clothes. 19 year old Kennedy got this opportunity from the nonprofit group Freedom and Fashion, an organization that offers young people who have gone through hardships. 90% of our clients have been sexually exploited. A 12 week course in fashion, pairing professionals with these novices to learn more than just sketching and patterns. They're youth conquering trafficking, their youth conquering abandonment. I love them. Yeah. Kennedy overcame her fears by working with folks from Design House, Stella and Jamie. We really dove in into trying to understand what elements of trauma that we were trying to overcome. Kennedy is transgender. Her story begins as a young boy. I was born in Karaganda, Kazakhstan, and I was abandoned at birth. Adopted by an American family, she says it was good for a while. My family decided that I no longer was a proper fit in their home. She says she was sent to a treatment center for detachment disorders, not realizing she would not go back home. I didn't have that closure where I could apologize. I didn't have that closure where I knew why. Adopted by another family, she says that didn't work out either. And at 18, Kennedy moved to Los Angeles without a home. I became homeless on March 1st, 2015. Wolfgang can relate. This transgender man is also part of the program. I've learned more about, you know, hard work and commitment and the reward that comes from that. The connections he has made here propel him to see beyond his past. I feel that I have grown tremendously. For those lending their expertise, a true life lesson. Everyone has creativity. You just have to find it and embrace it and use it. And showcase it on a stage in a space like Control Collective. The owners donating their downtown offices for the fashion show. Making a difference in young people's lives especially, that's I think the biggest investment we have to make um, as a culture. Connecting on the catwalk. I think people underestimate the power of clothes and design. To display freedom born from fashion. To see themselves how we see them and that's just, again, some of the strongest people on the planet. Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News. Now, many of these young people are working to graduate high school and move on to college. Freedom and fashion is also part of that future. For more, go to NBCLA.com and search Freedom.